so please tell me about yourself Uh, I'm Pravin Kumar. Uh, I have around eight years of experience in uh, Java, Spring Boot, and uh, as software development. And I've been working on uh, financial banking and uh, insurance domains uh, mm. in my previous organization. And currently, I'm working on insurance domain, uh, which is a Cardian. So we are developing the product. Uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So currently you are working in ITC Botec, right? So currently I'm working in Guardian India Operations Private Limited. Okay, okay, okay. So what do you know about Java skill set? Can you explain about that? So I can yeah, ask uh, accordingly. Yeah, currently uh, I have been working in Java 8, and uh, we are constantly using the streams and uh, other APIs also. And, uh, Okay. So you know the agile methodology? Yeah, we are working in agile only. So how do you working? So currently we have a uh, PA planning, which means a uh, product imp uh, implementation. Like uh, for entire PA, we have around four iteration. Uh, uh, so for some, uh, we have five iterations. For each iteration, we have the story points around uh, based on our uh, capacity. For example. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. uh another questions you have worked on uh, gitlab bitbucket right Are you aware about yeah, that, I, right? yeah i am working okay. bitbucket okay yeah. okay okay so now uh, just i will ask about microservices so you okay. know uh, you know why we are using microservices because uh, we have lot of things mm, um, in uh, existing application monolith we can improve the performance and by using some clustering and uh, load balancing lot of things we can apply it and manage it that application without using microservices so what is the main uh, uh, root cause of this uh, uh, to avoiding this monolith application and uh, go with the microservices can you get give the any concrete answer about that so we can uh i'll move on next question okay so uh, for the monolithic application uh, for example uh, we already had one monolithic application in my first company so there we have the single db which is uh, having both, both back end and ui parts okay mm -hmm. so what we faced if anything down the db uh, we got any issues in the web services the entire system will be down but in our uh, later implementation we segregated like ui will be having separate db like for the entire pages and even that ui also we have the back end each services are uh, different so web services and that any, any other any other specific differences uh, specific in the sense uh, you know resource optimization and microservices yeah. uh, we can utilize to uh, multiple uh, skill set resources so yeah so that kind of things and uh, minimize to support right uh, support yeah. means uh, just uh, production support lot of things we can optimize and save uh some amount like that is pendecture so company can go with this right yeah so uh, in our application like uh, we have a server and client kind of thing mm -hmm. for example the server uh, which keeps the user to interact which means we have the partners banking systems mm -hmm. those banking only have access to the server so whatever the request they are passing through that server will uh, connect so, with so you are working in banking domain right No, currently I am in insurance domain. Whatever I am explaining. Yes, yes, yes. This is the financial domain, right? Insurance yeah. is also part of the financial domain. Yeah. So uh, I think a uh, uh, lot of banking and financial institutes are not using microservices. I am right or wrong? Yeah, that's correct. But whatever we are using, that was different. Uh, because uh, we are using the customer data which is there in their own system we are not owning their uh, data or anything because okay bank so means you want to tell about that uh, uh, we can customer data we can access through some different scenario but the financial data can be owned by the 
bank only right that is separate yes. server and uh, just yes. some okay Okay, okay, great, great. Because our project, what we do now, uh, we have the uh, Cassandra DB, which uh -huh. uh, gives the user details, uh -huh. which is there in their own server. Okay, we don't just, want uh, just wait, 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 because of we, we, I, I, I want to ask some small question. Yeah, sure, sure. So, in Java 8, uh, you know uh, what kind of features we have added in Java 8? Yeah, so we have functional interface, optional, uh, and the stream API. Mm -hmm. And additionally, we have introduced date time, which uh, resolved the main uh, date time issues which we owned uh, in the previous versions. Uh, the date time API, which gives a uh, ISO standard format, so we can uh, implement it in any system. But in the previous version, uh, there, were, there were a drawback, uh, so that was uh, addressed in this one. So most of the part, uh, the stream API helps uh, to stream that large amount of data without uh, changing the existing object. Mm -hmm. So we can sort and uh, get the data. For example, in my current uh, project, we have multiple data uh, okay, of the okay, user. Okay. Let, let's so I will ask one more question regarding to exception. Okay. So you know checked and unchecked exception? Yes. So, what is check reception? How to identify what to be techniques you can apply for the check check reception? So, you can give the step about the check reception. So, check exception or uh, some of the, uh, uh, for example, in our project, uh, there will be coverage details. Mm -hmm. So, we know that coverage won't be available for that particular uh, user or uh, uh, group. Okay, just one minute, just one minute. You give the answer to me only. Okay. Uh, I'm just giving you one scenario. Uh, scenario just like uh, uh, suppose you have a one class A. Here I have a method public void m1. Okay. Okay. And I'm writing throw throw okay. keyword and exception means public void okay. uh, method m1. Okay. And throw exception okay. try catch here i am writing super class method m1 okay okay i am extending class creating uh, one more new class b extend class a here okay. i am writing public void uh, okay. am1 okay okay uh, without throws exception right okay and here i am writing system out dot pentelen uh, okay subclass method m1 okay now we create a public static void main method i am creating uh, object you, you first you tell about this this code is compiled or not no. maybe first i need to understand like in the class one we are having a, a m1 method inside that we are writing try catch right no 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 only using throws keyword throws exception in the method we are just throwing uh, with the throws right yeah throws exception the yeah, yeah. yeah yeah and then the second class we are having uh, only uh, having the m1 yeah, method, right? this, are, means yeah. this is the overriding concept here okay but i am not using uh, mm -hmm. throws exception i am just simply okay. writing just print. It and print print uh, subclass method m1 okay so this program will compile and execute or not so uh, we are creating the object uh, for the m1 right uh, like any any one anyone you can create i am not asking about the specific object specific if your okay. program will compile you any kind of object you can create it this is not a constant constant okay. is that this program is compiled and execute just i want to know you yes or no okay uh, so we are extending this class 1 uh, to the class 2 right yes uh specifically uh, if we are throwing anything uh, in the method and we are overriding it the both uh, b class also should have that uh, throws uh, method otherwise it uh, won't be a uh, overridden method mm -hmm. so here need to be throws keyword right yes it is mandatory it, it's not throws keyword this need to be uh, thrown like that exception should be thrown from the b class also no exception is throw Okay. Yeah, I know that. Means that is mandatory to handle this exception? Yeah, it should. 
so this type exception what to be tell like that what kind of this exception can we say uh, what kind of is check the run check you are asking yes, yes, yes i am asking what kind of exception this this would be it's kind of a check the exception since we are throwing uh, manually from our method uh, okay it, okay great 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 that things i am asking because of okay. you know the, the reason behind that the check the exception how it is generated you can yes. generate through the custom you yes. can create on class as a extend to exception you can generate on custom classes and that yeah. can you utilize in any way or in your business component so yeah. if you are not uh, you if you are uh, using through the custom if you are using through any utility package so that kind of things we uh, utilize as check the exception on check the exception this is this is i think you know about that uh, yeah so what do you what do you know about uh uh optional class and lambda expression yeah optional class uh, which we used for uh, some of the uh, for example i am using the stream ap mm -hmm. and i am planning to get some data so if we don't have any entry for that it will be given the empty so we thought that it will be as a null and if you are using somewhere else it will throw the null pointer also mm -hmm. but in optional class we have additional option uh, to check uh, okay so uh, yeah. now uh, asking one more question regarding to database which situation yeah. can be used uh, union union all uh, okay section so in union uh, if we want uh, for example employee and uh, address details mm. and we both have the address details for this employee with multiple addresses mm. so i want to get data like having the employee and with the address mm. we can union all the employee may have multiple addresses so we have the address key uh, id which uh, have this uh, in the employee object that can be mapped for example home address office address those things will be there right so we cannot keep in the employee object itself so we are keeping in the separate uh, table so we can unite it okay so suppose uh, you know about uh, spring spring boot yeah so what what is the main difference in spring framework and spring boot yeah spring framework uh, which is used to uh, handle this mec concept in spring boot advancedly it is utilizing the uh, spring concept and additionally we are using in the uh, java based uh, uh, configurations mm -hmm. for example if i want to use any uh, comparator like uh, so sorry, in control spring boot uh, spring boot will work automatically right Yes. Need to be right any configuration. Yes, correct. So who will handle this uh, auto configuration, auto uh, configuration, component scan and configuration? Which uh, annotations is reliable to handle all this kind of thing? At Spring Boot application itself uh, will ha have all these concepts. And mm -hmm. additionally, if you want to use any service layer, so you know, okay, you know about the scope variable in Spring. framework or spring boot a scope annotation you are asking no 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 is scope variable you know mm, sorry uh, i didn't get that uh, singleton prototype yeah yeah that's what uh, we are using the scope right uh, by default it will be singleton but mm. in our case we utilize uh, on so how many types are there there are five types mm. singleton prototype uh, session uh, uh another two types of there i think we no request global session yeah global session and uh, i guess yeah and we use only prototype additionally in one case so which uh, situation can be used prototype so we have multiple scenarios uh, that object need to be uh, utilized for each session mm -hmm. for example in that case uh, our singleton creates a problem for us so we utilize prototype in that case okay Okay. The same so, uh, which I. Do you know I, file annotation? Uh, no, we didn't use it. Maybe I need to go so through it. Profile? Why? why you are not use? Because of you are using if you Spring Boot. So profile part is mandatory. Suppose you 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 have used CI/CD CD pipeline. Yes. Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins so only. You go through this 
CI CD pipeline so here uh, profile notation is must be know about that what did it do oh it's not in the scope oh, okay you are asking about the profile at uh, at the at profile annotation yeah okay. so the act is a configuration about the uat properties those things will be keep in over there but mm -hmm. in our side the jenkins will handle that mm -hmm. we create separate uh, what you call property files for each environment mm -hmm. we don't use the single application dot properties we are using uh, for UAT, uh, separate one, dev separate one, and in product, uh, prod also it will oh, okay, be Okay, okay, Let, let's uh, present. Uh, please yeah. write this code once, uh, because uh, we have only uh, seven to eight minutes. You complete okay. this code. Uh, okay. Can you write the program to find the duplicate characters from a string? Okay, you take the sure. string. I will I will write one string. Sure, Just sure. One minute, a string, str is equal to... A A B B C C D D. Uh, okay, okay, no problem. No, no. This is the string. So okay. here, find the duplicate. Duplicate just J B C S D. Okay, sure. Yeah, please write quick, fast. Sure, sure. Uh, this is mandatory. Here need to be write mandatory because uh, without this, we can't forward to further round. Sure, sure, no problem. I'll write it. Uh, so please do. Uh, 